This story begins a few thousand years ago. My people were slaves to vile creatures that ruled over us mercilessly. During the day, we never saw the sunlight. But at night, we would lie down and gaze into the eyes that looked back at us. One fateful night, a new light flew across the sky. Fascination caused us to sneak out of camp to observe this wonder. As we approached it, sparks flew from the light. As each spark landed, one by one my friends disappeared, and then one hit me. When I woke up, hours had passed. It was too late to return to camp without being discovered. Once I was among the trees, it took only moments before I was attacked by wolves. I wandered a few steps and finally collapsed. Awakening again, I found myself in some sort of encampment. When I stepped outside, I looked into the faces of elves, men, and dwarves. The eye became a part of me. My wounds healed faster than humanly possible. This wasn't the only ability that I had gained. I was able to perform feats that no other race could dream of. For decades I trained, trying to understand my new powers. More eyes fell from the sky. More people like me were born. After many small victories, we were ready to face our enemy out in the open. Slowly and surely, we drove them back to the pits of eternity. We won the war, and the people of Elor were finally free. We became a faction of our own, sworn to protect the people we fought for. Yet we remained outsiders. But time changes everyone. Humans easily repeat mistakes of the past. The endless cycle continues. Suspicion and mistrust of our kind. The sentinels began to grow. The rocks no longer fell from the sky. Humans were facing poverty and struggle and needed someone to blame. My closest friend left the Council of Sentinels looking for answers. When he returned, he came out of the eternal pits, home of our sworn enemies, with an army. He marched it right to the doorstep of our castle, killing anything and everything along the way. We had no chance against this force. Crowen said we should join him instead of throwing our lives away. Some brave council members sacrificed themselves as a distraction while I led an escape party through stealth. We had a plan, a ritual to trap Crowen and his army, frozen in time. A plan that required us to sacrifice ourselves. Only the falling of a new eye from the sky would break the spell. And so we remained frozen. Now, a new era exists for the people of Elor, though violence is still a part of it. The Sentinels are only a fairy tale that parents tell their children. Yet, something is coming. I can feel it. An innocent child will be born and change everything. This boy could break the cycle of violence and save the people of Elor. All right, Aaron. Stay close. Good morning, Marcus. How's business? Oh, do you still have those blue mushrooms? Elias really loves them. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get that man. I think I'll take a whole basket of them. We've had a decent harvest this year. The conflicts in Krill haven't bothered us much.
I see you've had enough. Let's go home. There's no reason to be afraid, Aaron. You're a strong young man. Besides, we live in a small town. I'm pretty sure we know everyone. Your father and I will always protect you until you are ready to protect yourself. I love you, son. Now, let's go bring your father these smelly mushrooms. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. It might be your birthday, but there won't be any cake for you today. All right, there will be cake, but later. Good morning, buddy. Today, we are training. I might have overheard you telling your friends that you want to become a soldier. Well, for your very first mission, you'll have to sneak up on me. I'll be waiting outside. Manage to surprise me and I'll have a reward for you. Alright, see you soon. Or, you know. Son, I know you can do better. Wow, great job, son. Now, for your epic reward, we made you this sword and shield. Do you like them? These tools are definitely useful, but sometimes it's easier to sneak past dangerous situations. Your mother and I have sneaked in and out of castles without ever being heard. Well, we have been known for turning the place upside down as well. That's great. I love it too. And before you know it, you'll be old enough to try out a real sword. Well, I have to go make myself useful now. Why don't you go find your mother? She's waiting. Happy birthday, son! You'll never guess what I got for you. This goes along with the new sword and shield we had made for your birthday. Glad to hear you like it, Aaron. Why don't you try and hit those three targets I set up? Fantastic! You're really good at this. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Three more chickens have been killed. I think it's a fox. Oh, again? I'll have a look later this week. I have that trade this afternoon. No rush, honey. We'll find it later. I'll have someone look at the fence.
get me some of those blue mushrooms at the market, honey? It's not your birthday today. We're eating Aaron's favorite. All right. What has our soldier been up to this afternoon? You did what? I see. Well, good job on hunting it down, I suppose. But next time, maybe come and get me when you find it. It did, but it could also have been dangerous. Next time, just call one of us over, Aaron. We don't want you getting hurt. Besides, you still have a wooden sword. Oh. You do have our knack for getting yourself into difficult situations. Did your father ever tell you the story of how we accidentally ended up in the royal chambers of the king? Strangely enough, it started out as a contract for the queen. Ready for another day of hard work. You know, it ain't much, but it's honest work. Wait. Wait, this can't be happening. This must be it. Aaron. The Sentinels are returning. Are you crazy? I started to believe this would never happen in my lifetime. Imagine. No aging. Being able to jump as high as a house. We haven't seen sentinels in hundreds of years. I wonder why it dropped now. What was that shock? Is that normal? I spent most of my life traveling Elor, looking for one of these. No, I shouldn't. You should. Something bad is coming, Aaron. And I don't want to give you the responsibility to deal with it. But I think you have what it takes. You have a good heart. You're good with a bow and sword. You don't get to be your young self anymore after today. But your mother and I will help you figure this out. Good. I'm proud of you, son. Bring these potions. Now go. I'll go talk to your mother. Go.
Who are you? Did you lose? Did, did you arrive too late? I can see your memories, and I remember some of my own. My name is Kara, and you are Aaron. The boy that touched the eye. Don't be afraid, Aaron. You arrived on time. The world is not yet lost. We are in the rest. A world existing parallel to yours. Created by me and the other Sentinels. This is a place where we share knowledge, and a place where we come to rest. You can- Your body is still in the real world, but your mind is here. My spirit has been adrift for many years. Decades, centuries maybe. My energy used to imprison the ones that betrayed me. The last eye landing shook things up. It pulled me in and now I am here. A part of me is now a part of you as well. I think so. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still waking up. The enemy will have woken up as well. They will feel the energy of the meteor glow, and they will come for it. Hoping they can destroy or harvest it before someone else. Yes, we should go. Wake up, Aaron. Sorry, Aaron. The dragon was one of the creatures trapped by my spell. He must have been sent forward with some troops to find the rock before someone else did. I suspect your parents were trying to distract him from you. You're the only one that can stand against this evil, Aaron. You've seen the power that your enemy wields. The people of Elor need you. 
I think I'll have to give you a crash course in your abilities. I'm having a hard time remembering a lot of things myself. But I do remember we have some knowledge points connected with the rest here in Rife. If we go there, you can practice. There's a cave nearby that will teach you about abilities you can use with your bow and arrow. There's also one that will allow me to teach you some neat tricks for traversal and closing the gap between you and your enemies. You might want to ask around first. See if we can be of any assistance to the town. I don't know how rife is nowadays, but they've never been known for their military strength. I'm sorry about your parents, Aaron. They were brave people. It surprised me to find out that you are the last sentinel. It seems the prophecy is true then. How do you f An evil will reawaken, and a hero shall be born. That's probably where you come in. Your parents saved a lot of your people. You should be proud of them. Anyway, how did you kill those filthy creatures and scare off the dragon? Makes sense. So you weren't in full control. I hope you get to change that soon. I won't bore you with the political version. We need your help, Aaron. Our main road is cut off, our fortress overtaken. They really came out of nowhere. Most of our men were in the dead forest when it happened. We should really do this one together. We need to gather our strengths, and then we will attack as a group. And we will need access to the caves if worse comes to pass. That'd be appreciated. There are also multiple camps that have been overtaken. We need the supplies from those places. Thanks, Aaron. Other people in town might need help as well. We have a board over there with requests from people that need help. <laughs> you don't have to call me Mayor. You can call me William. Good luck. What do you want? I'm a little busy. Well, they probably don't think I can defend myself. Or they want the store to open. You know, I'd like to open my store again, but what these people did to me, I don't stand for it. Sure, rob my store, hit me in the face, and take away everything I worked for for years, but these savages even took my wedding ring. They went too far. They are abusers of the poor circumstances of our valley, and someone needs to do something. So I closed my store, and I've been training every day since it happened. I will go there and claim back my ring. Thank you, but I know who you are. You're a sentinel now. You have more important things to deal with. Okay. I suppose you are more experienced. I will accept. Thank you, sir. You're the new sentinel. I'm Kyle. I'll craft you anything if you bring me the resources. Yeah, well, just don't take up my whole day, will ya? A man's gotta eat. You be careful out there. 
I'm pretty important, but I'm no sentinel.
Yeah.